see, as soon as the red dot goes on there, you freeze <laughs> sure. up. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about floor length bars. Our titanium floor length bars are one of our biggest sellers, and a lot of people are scared of them. So just wanted to kind of go over that with you and, and what we, we recommend and show you kind of how they go together. There's actually a pretty good little process to put them together the way we do it, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. These are two comparable four length bars. Uh, this is inch and a half 120 wall chromoly four length bar. This is inch and a half 125 wall titanium four length bar. So it's pretty similar. This one's actually half inch longer, uh, but we'll show you the weight here in a minute on those. We did the first set of titanium four length bars for Jamie Hancock's car. We did uppers only. A lot of people said they probably wouldn't work. And honestly, at the time we didn't know how they work. So we tried them. Back then we used inch and a half 110 wall. Um, and we've had no problem. Jamie's had them on his car for two and a half or three years. I think that car has been eight, nine, sixty foot. Now that we've switched to 125 wall, we have them uppers and lowers on Norman Bryson's car. Uh, Calvin Franco runs them. Quite a few people, we've sold a lot of these. We actually just did uppers and lowers for a pro nitrous car. We don't have them on a bunch of big tire cars. Um, I don't think we have anything to worry about with it actually breaking, just more about how they flex on the lowers with a push and the uppers pulling are no problem. So we'll see how that goes. Rob Honeycutt has them uppers and lowers and a wishbone of ours. So he's gonna test them out for us and give us some feedback. We sell these quite a bit. We sell them welded, unwelded, whatever lengths you want. Uh, obviously I'll show you the video and uh, there's quite a bit that goes into it. So if you weld it, make sure you weld the titanium. If not, watch the video. The biggest thing is making sure you're always in a gas. Obviously you can see this is, is a gold color. You, you don't want to have too much color or else that means it's getting uh, outside atmosphere into the weld, which you don't want with the titanium. So the most you want to weld is, is the size of your cup, start to finish there. Make sure your cup's always covering the beginning of the weld and have a bunch of post flow. That's a big thing. We cool them down also with the air just so they don't get hot because the hotter they get, the same, same effect. So if you're gonna do it at home, just make sure you do it like that and that you weld with some titanium. I'll show you the process now. Eddie just put these together for a customer today so it worked out good. Get them in. So I figured we'd do a video and show you guys how it goes. And also we'll, we'll weigh them after I show you this.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and weigh them and show you guys what the difference is. A lot of people always wanna know what the difference is, and obviously it's gonna depend on what you have now. If you have inch and five eighths bar, or inch and a half, or inch and three eighths, it could vary, but these bars are very comparable, so this will give you an idea of exactly what the weight difference is between a chrome alloy four length bar and a titanium four length bar. Actually, the titanium is a little longer, so if it was the same exact length, it'd be a little lighter, but we'll give you an idea. The chromoly bars, three pounds, six ounces. Titanium bars, one pound, 15 ounces. So if you do the uppers, you're gonna save around three pounds, given that you have an inch and a half bar now. Um, if you do the uppers and lowers, it's six pounds. So that's quite a bit, especially for people that like to eat like me, so. Um, definitely a big weight savings. Uh, we'll do some other videos on some other stuff we do. We do wishbones, drive shaft enclosures, and a roll bar links. Just about anything titanium we try to do. We ship this stuff all over the world. Uh, have a lot of good customers that run it. Nowadays, when you're building a car, you kind of have to have it. So if you guys need anything, let us know. We can duplicate what you already have, or we can send you materials to make your own. However, like I said, just make sure when you're welding it, you, you, you get that color. You don't want a bunch of blue or red or any of that stuff. So that, that means it's, it's not as strong as it should be. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And if there's something else you want to see, leave a comment, and we'll try to get to it. Thanks.